And so you need to figure out who that project manager is. Go show up on his one of his current job sites. Give him a phone call and let just start adding value during the estimating process. Do not add value to that estimator coordinator. It will not turn into a sale. You have to figure out who is going to be in charge of that project, who is going to be estimating or who is going to be project managing that job and who will be making the decision maker based on the estimates they're given. Right. And then one of the other big, huge uh, possible distinguishing you from your competitor is get in front of the decision make ultimate decision makers, which is the developer market to developers. That's something that we got a big system coming on and warning to all you developers that I know of and that I'm going to find out about. You're going to be getting emails and news update, uh, market updates, newsletters from Tecton framing because we have identified that if we can influence and get in front of the developers, we're going to have close to a 50% more chance of getting that project if we have become a part of the developer's mind, if they're thinking about us. So we're going to be marketing to them. We're not going to be marketing to go direct to them, to all of our customers and general contractors. We're not trying to go around you. We're actually going to be doing some, honestly, some marketing for you because we're going to have our recommendations. We're going to have the pros and cons of different general contractors. Same with architects and engineers. We're going to have the pros and cons and examples of great architects or great engineers. Um, There's so much value that we're going to be pumping out to our developers Um, maybe some general contractor owners and that will be involved, but for the most part, it's going to be developers there. And then we're going to let that knowledge and that, that persuasion to use us in the framing, we're going to let that drain down the pipe from the ultimate king down the pipe to the decision maker in the general contractor. And so we'll be influenced that way. Um, this is, this is, I'm only using this example as how we're redefining, uh, sales in the subcontractor world that, um, only uses only sales to the general contractor. So big difference there. One of the things, and, and this kind of ties into what we just got done talking about is one of the big things that one of my, one of my estimators said was, says, how do we sell on price instead of or how how do we identify where the value we add outweighs the price that we give them so they're making the decision to hire tecton on the value we add versus the price and i know this concept is very common like sell based on your value not the price um yeah some of that some of that does does fall into that you need you need training, you need to know how to sell, you need to know all that. But a, a huge part of it is getting in front of the decision makers. Get in front of the decision makers because these big projects, some of the big projects that we're doing are hundreds, hundreds of millions of dollars on the whole project to the general contractor. Some of these projects are huge that way. And so if they can identify what subcontractor has them their the, the success of the project most in their heads they're going to tend to gravitate towards that subcontractor so if we get in front of the project managers i said previously then they're going to look at tecton framing as someone that really wants the success of their project instead of just the contract of their project so so that's one way to get the price out the door and bring in the value that we're going to add Get in front of the decision maker so they know we're interested in their project. We know their project through and through. Um, uh, another, great, another great way is add value. Uh, I have a friendship with a great, great man, um, founder, and used to be CEO of Martin Harris Construction out of Nevada. And I asked him one question. I says, what from you, Frank? 
His name is Frank Martin. I says, if you had one suggestion to me as a, as a subcontractor wanting to be hired by you, what would that suggestion be? How can I be hired by you and not let the solely based on the price? And he says, add more value. Simple as that. Add more value. Well, what does that look like, you may ask? Well, the honest truth is, is what other services can you provide that go hand in hand with your current status? Like for us, it's framing. Um, what are we doing? What What's going on with the project that we could do and add into our contract, add in uh, under our umbrella that would allow the customer to say, I want to use Tecton because I don't have to worry about this, 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 and this, and this. They got that all taken care of. So for us, it's going to be supplying and installing the windows. It's going to be on a large scale, uh, large, most of our projects, people would like us to do Tyvek. Why? Because it seals the building building off. It protects our wood framing, which is another huge value because it, it barriers that from a lot of the weather. Um, so if we provide that, then it's going to be added value. A lot of exterior siding people do, but they don't come for a while. They don't come to the project for a while. So if we'll do it before we leave, then their building's protected and sealed off on the exterior because we did windows and we did Tyvek. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to do roofing. Why? Because roofing is just another one of those things that ha- it, it struggles on the schedule. Like I will will be doing a huge project in sections, right? And they want to bring the roofing in on top of us before we're done with the other part of the section. Well, the biggest reason why that's a problem is it creates a coordination, frustration, miscommunication. But if that was under our scope, we like the general contractor would just know as soon as we're off this part of the building, then we're going to bring our roofing crew in and get it done. It's all sealed off. Same with the windows and the Tyvek. We're just going to add that value. And so I want to create, I want to create a added value and upsell. Our base bid is turnkey framing. Very seldom do we do labor supply. It has to be with a great, a great contractor, a great customer. But you always want to uh, see how you can add value that, that will not only help them lessen their worry and their stress, but to help with the schedule. And if you're, if you're in charge of it all, you're going to help with the schedule more. So another thing that we do right now, and we have supplied uh, numerous, numerous buildings, is the structural steel that we are framing on a lot of these projects have structural steel that we have to attach to. And I can't, I can't recall how many times our project was delayed by days or even weeks because we're waiting on the structural steel. Well, why are we waiting on the structural steel? Well, it's simply because miscommunication us, the framer, the general contractor didn't notify the structural steel guys and give them a, a, long enough lead time will when exactly we needed it. But if we, if we are, and we've experienced this many times, if we're su- supplying the structural steel, if we're in charge of the erection of the structural steel on these buildings, then we just have that coordinated perfectly. And some of our people, some of our lead guys can do the erection of the structural steel as well as the framing. So they know that. So there's literally no, no pause in the schedule when we supply the structural steel to our, our wood framed buildings. And that's a huge value. And all of this stuff take care of two things. It relieves stress off the project manager and the superintendent. Um, it, it takes care of the communication barrier between those, I think it was four or five different subcontractors, framing suppliers, um, structural steel supplier and erector. Cause a lot of times those are separate. And then uh, Tyvek and windows and roofing roofing i'm i'm not able to supply that yet but that's coming in the in the coming months probably 